Brazil has just elected a new president, and his agenda puts the whole world in jeopardy. Jair Bolsonaro is now in charge of the Amazon, the world's largest rainforest. But his policies are poised to destroy it. He's called global warming nothing more than greenhouse fables. He wants to allow beef producers to cut down large swathes of the Amazon to make room for cattle pastures. He wants to allow soy producers to do the same thing. He wants to open up the Amazon to mining and has vowed to eliminate all protected areas. All this would be catastrophic because the Amazon acts as a giant sponge for the planet's CO2 emissions and as a giant air conditioner for a warming world. Every year, the Amazon sucks up 600 million metric tons of carbon pollution. Without it, the Earth's climate would spin out of control. Fifteen years ago, Brazil moved aggressively to protect the Amazon. It became a role model for the world's other tropical forest nations. Brazil built up capacity in satellite monitoring and on-the-ground enforcement. It granted land rights to indigenous Brazilians who have lived in the Amazon for centuries and know best how to preserve it. Brazil even committed to zero deforestation and pledged to reduce its carbon emissions economy-wide. But Bolsonaro wants to undo all that progress. He wants to eliminate Brazil's environment ministry and fold it into the Ministry of Agriculture. He wants to reduce penalties against those who violate environmental laws. Bolsonaro says all the environmental regulations that protect the Amazon are suffocating his country. But without them, we would see what suffocating really looks like. Because of a deep recession, Brazil has become even more dependent on soy and beef exports. That puts pressure on the country to cut down more of the rainforest, to make room for ranches and farms. If Bolsonaro carries out his campaign promises, it will pave the way to slash and burn the rainforest. Worldwide deforestation is already responsible for about as much greenhouse gas emissions as all the cars, trucks, planes, trains, and ships on the planet. Without the Amazon, there will be no way for the world to prevent catastrophic global warming. And the policies of one man could determine that course for us all. Thank you.